Love Island, tensions rise between Meghan and Georgia during awkward reunion, as Carolyn Flack praises her strong comeback following escort claims. Love Island's Meghan Barton Hansen hasn't had an easy ride since leaving the villa and it appears things weren't about to get any better for her when she faced fellow islander Georgia Steele on Sunday's reunion show. The 24-year-old beauty sat alongside boyfriend Wes Nelson, 20, to discuss their journey on the romance reality series when show host Carolyn Flack addressed comments that she didn't see eye to eye with loyal Georgia. Despite spending six weeks together in Majorca, fans believed the pair enjoyed a civil friendship but Meghan aired her thoughts on the drama student early on in the series when she referred to her as a fake bh and said she was over the top. While Georgia told The Sun after leaving the villa that she didn't believe the former glamour model was real either. The pair came face to face on the series reunion show and Carolyn asked Meghan how their relationship is now that they've seen in full what each other has said about the other. Trying to be diplomatic, Meghan said, I didn't get it, I was introverted and shy. She was extroverted. Everything is massive, I didn't get it, I haven't been around someone like that. And while the blonde bombshell attempted to smooth over the situation, Georgia responded, that's okay B, no need to worry darling then sipped her drink while an awkward silence ensued. Meanwhile, Meghan, who visited West native Stoke-on-Trent during the week, admitted that her former career as a stripper played a part in why she didn't have close group of girlfriends outside the villa. She said, I think obviously my job and as dancer, I had never been around that environment. I was naive. I done it so close to home and they all started commenting. To distance myself from the negative comments I was friends with boys. There's no commentary. During the conversation, TV host Carolyn also showed support for Meghan following revelations about her sugar daddy past emerged. Briefly touching on it, she said, I loved your Instagram post this morning I thought it was really strong. The tensions come after Meghan spoke about female empowerment, after candidly discussing her past career on an X-rated site. Taking to her Instagram on Sunday, the glamour model voiced her support for all women and their choices. After reports emerged alleging she earned money as an escort, Meghan's Love Island boyfriend Wes Nelson meanwhile headed to Mallorca without the blonde this weekend for a booze-fueled pool party at the famously raucous BH Mallorca Hotel. His glamour model girlfriend remained in London to enjoy a swanky dinner with co-star Samira Mighty, after suddenly calling off her string of nightclub PAs due to personal reasons. The blonde beauty has forged a career as a glamour model but was recently hit by claims she lived a life of luxury by dating sugar daddies, while working as an escort. After discussing her X-rated past as a stripper and webcam model, Meghan spoke out about female empowerment in a fierce social media post posted on her Instagram page on Sunday. The model voiced her support for all women and their choices, and slammed those who have previously judged her in a lengthy and passionate message to fans. She wrote, Today I really feel that I need to address some of the stories out there about me on behalf of women in general. I support all women, regardless of the choices they make about what they do with their bodies. My dad always told me unless you've walked in someone's shoes then don't judge them. Paying tribute to those who have supported her since leaving the Love Island villa, she went on. Thank you to all of the amazing women that have and continue to follow my journey. Your messages of support mean so much to me. I won't allow stories like these to stop me from be a free-thinking, confident, independent young woman striving to make a better life for myself and my family. I'm off to the final Love Island after some. Can't wait to reunite with all the gang. Love to you all and have a great Sunday. Meg. She followed up her passionate post with the hashtags. Hashtag woman empowerment hashtag girl power hashtag woman united. According to The Sun, Meghan enjoyed a number of dates with rich, older men prior to her time in the Love Island villa. Meghan reportedly dated older men, in his 50s, for a longer period of time, who lavished with expensive gifts, including a £30,000 Range Rover. An insider told the publication, this was down to one older guy in particular, in his 50s, that she was with for a while. She also had dates and flings with other older guys who you could describe as sugar daddies. They loved having Meghan on their arm and would do anything for her. Continuing on with the night, third place couple Kaz Crossley and Josh Denzel took to the couch next and admitted that they're not rushing into any big relationship decisions, telling Carolyn they won't be moving in anytime soon.
Kaz said, no not yet, I think we want to take it slow. It went really fast and there. We're not far from each other in London. Reflecting on how quick their romance blossomed, Josh revealed that he knew she was the one within 24 hours of meeting in Casa Amor while he was already partnered with Georgia. He said, instant. Early doors. I don't want to get in trouble. End of the first night. Dot. Next up on the sofa was second place couple Laura Anderson and Paul Knopps, who revealed that they aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet but am enjoying each other's company. The pair admitted they had a great time visiting Laura's native Stirling, Scotland and are looking forward to what the future holds for them. The genetically blessed duo were also in for a surprise when Laura's TV crush Eamon Holmes recorded a special message for her which had both the couple and studio audiences in hysterics. The final couple to chat to Carolyn was 2018 winners Jack Fincham and Danny Dyer, who walked away with £50,000 on Monday night's finale. The pair had cameras following them around as they reunited with friends and family. Jack even brought his other half to his workplace to try her hand at selling stationery while she likened him to Leonardo DiCaprio's character in The Wolf of Wall Street. Noticeably absent from their hometown visit were Danny's parents, actor Danny Dyer and Joanne Mass, who are currently on holiday in Orlando. After enjoying an afternoon in the pub and stopping by his office, both Jack and Danny revealed that they still can't believe they won the series as they took the time to chat to Carolyn back in the studio. When asked if Cheeky Jack has spoken to Danny's parents, he revealed that he has been exchanging texts with the EastEnders star, who has given him his seal of approval, but is terrified of her mother.